Hey there friends and fellow pharmacy enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel where we explore the ins and outs of the pharmacy world. Today we are shining a spotlight on a group that's pivotal in our profession, the board of pharmacy specialists, BPS. So in this video we cover history, mission, types, eligibility, syllabus, exam, duration, salary of BPS. So grab a seat and let's get into it. If you are a pharmacist or a pharmacy student, you probably have heard about BPS. But what exactly it is? In short, BPS certified pharmacists who meet high standard of education, expertise and experience. And today we are here to tell you why it matters. BPS was established in 1976 as an autonomous division of American Pharmacists Association APHA. Talking about its mission is to improve the patient care and increase awareness of the need for BCPS as a member of multidisciplinary healthcare team. Board certification through BPS has recognized as a gold standard for determining which pharmacists are qualified to contribute at advanced practice level. BPS board certified pharmacist stands out to be the most qualified to accept today's expanding professional expectations. BPS currently recognizes more than 60,800 pharmacist certifications across 15 specialty worldwide. These specialties include nuclear pharmacist, nutrition support pharmacist, pharmacotherapy pharmacist, psychiatry pharmacist, ambulatory care pharmacist, oncology pharmacist, critical care pharmacist, pediatric pharmacist, cardiology pharmacist, infectious disease pharmacist, emergency medicine pharmacist, pain management pharmacist, compound trial preparation pharmacist and solid organ transplantation pharmacist. So yeah, that's a lot. Specialty in pharmacy. Now moving forward BPS offers board certification across various specialities as we discussed and achieving it is like the Oscars for pharmacists. Now talking about the eligibility criteria for BPS. Let's take an example. So if I want to become BCPS board certified pharmacotherapy specialist, I need 3 years of experience with at least 50% of my time spent in the same field. for all practice experience must be completed post license or registration of pharmacist before that it should not be counted for other specialties like oncology pediatrics cardiology experiences may vary talking about the exam syllabus 50% of the syllabus covers pharmacology and therapeutics the rest 30% of the syllabus covers microbiology biochemistry pathology and and last 20% of the syllabus covers formulation clinical research biostats biopharmaceutics etc talking about the exam length 150 items are there in which 125 are scored and 25 are unscored items the duration of bps exam is 3 hours 45 minutes talking about the salary after bps in india the salary is approx 50 to 1 lakh per month and in foreign countries like usa canada it's about 5 lakh to 10 lakh per month so whether you are looking to specialize or just passionate about the pharmacy profession bps certification is something to consider it's about pushing boundaries lifelong learning and ultimately providing the best care for our patients If you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button your support helps us to bring more content like this to you until next time keep learning keep growing thanks for watching